Rim Academy is a training program for Ortis customers dedicated to all aspects of manufacturing and treating denim. The two-day workshops are customized to the attendees' needs at Ortis Kaiseri Factory in Central Turkey. Cotton storage, weaving, dyeing, and laundering are some of the topics covered, typically by a walkthrough of the production line, followed by an in-depth workshop. Attendees are certified at the end of the workshop. Our process starts with cotton before yarn is even in the picture. We acquire various cotton varieties from around the world and Turkey. We mix these varieties according to a special blend recipe in an attempt to acquire raw material that meets specific properties. We aim to use quality cotton and process it to yield high quality yarn. Once cotton arrives at our factory, we perform certain tests to determine whether the product is really what we expected it to be. These tests are done to execute an input control before the process begins. Once the tests are completed, cotton can enter the process where we first perform cleaning and blending. For this, we stack the bales in what we call the blow room unit and perform certain procedures to thoroughly remove stems, dirt, and dust that occur naturally in the cotton plant. We focus on homogeneously mixing different varieties of cotton in order to succeed in achieving sustainable, homogeneous quality and optimum performance in our production. By the time the mixing, fluffing phase is finished, the cotton is completely free of foreign matter like dirt and dust and is ready to be spun into yarn, which begins at the combing machines. Combing machines create cotton sliver before additional cleaning to remove the NEPS content, as well as the remaining dirt and dust. In the drawing frame process, the slivers from different combing machines are joined to form a homogeneous mix and eliminate irregularities. After the drawing process, we enter an interim step, which is at the roving machine. In this stage, we thin out the strip so it can be fed into the spinning machine. Eventually, this raw material reaches the ring spinning machine, which is the final stage of spinning. The production of yarn is complete once the machine completes the twist and draw. The final stage in a spinning factory is forming yarn into bobbins for practicality of use and subsequent processes. Should you come to the factory as part of our Denim Academy, you will be able to see the procedure in detail and we can elaborate on each of the stages as the process unfolds. The Indigo Unit, where we give denim its legendary color. This is how it works. The yarn is processed before arriving at ball working, then the wound ropes arrive at our machine. 24 ropes can enter the dyeing treatment at the same time. We are capable of dyeing in different colors, ranging from very light to very dark shades. We can also produce very different indigo dyes using various dye substance groups on the bottom and topping. The crucial aspect of indigo is the darkness and lightness of the color, and this is made possible by increasing or decreasing the number of vats. Let me put it this way. Imagine a decorator coming to your house to repaint the walls. You will remember that he has to apply two to three layers to achieve the final tone. In dyeing, we adjust the layers by increasing or decreasing the number of vats. We use synthetic dyes for indigo treatment, However, we use organic indigo dyes for our organic product range. Once the dyeing process is complete, the semi-finished product in rope form is re-beamed before being transferred to the sizing beam. Warp yarn is prepared in previous processes before arriving in our department for sizing. 
This is where yarn is prepared for the subsequent stage, which is weaving. Unwound warp yarn arrives here on unwinding beams to be coated with chemicals prepared at optimum process conditions. We use special chemicals to increase the resistance of warp yarn against mechanical strain in the weaving stage, while also reducing fluffing. Starch is the main substance in the sizing chemicals. In the next stage, warp yarn is wound on the weaving beam and stored in the pattern oster. Weaving is a process in which warp and weft yarn are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric. The weaving process depends on three basic motions. First is shedding. This is the stage where warp yarn is grouped in preparation for the weft insertion process. Second comes weft insertion. This stage involves inserting weft inside the shed. The third motion is beat up, and this is when the weft that has been inserted into the shed is compressed. Machines at our factory can be grouped into three based on the insertion method employed. Projectile systems, rapier systems, and finally what we call jet systems, which involves moving the weft with air or water jets. Each of these systems has their own advantages. The finishing unit is where we improve the properties, hand feel, and appearance of the fabric product by means of physical and mechanic chemical processes. Our job consists of three main processes, pre-finishing, coloring, and finishing. Pre-finishing involves brushing and singeing. Coloring involves dyeing and coating. We are capable of dyeing both flat and denim fabric. We use four different coating methods, blade, pattern, foam, and kiss roll coating. The finishing phase is where the fabric is given its final properties. This is what defines the fabric's hand feel properties, soft, rough, hand feel. It is also where the warp and weft shrinkage values are mechanically adjusted. At the Quality Control Department, we perform our work with three main control mechanisms. Physical tests, visual inspection, and shade assessment. All of this information is then shared with our customers. Physical tests take place on finished and washed products in our accredited laboratories. These tests are crocking, dimensional stability, tear and tensile strength, and growth and recovery for stretch fabrics. Visual inspection is performed to flag the defects and come up with a defect plan. Shade assessment is performed in order to demonstrate the variations found within the shade matrix of each roll for customer reference. The relevant data collected in the quality control department is compiled into a concise report and shared with customers. Denim Academy offers a great environment for industry experts to share their knowledge and experience and offer a research and training field for design students who want to gain insight into the production of denim fabric. Join the Denim Academy community to become a lifelong denim member.